Hey guys, this is Ben Jones again. Uh, I think this is part five. Um, what we're going to do now is slice up our design and then export it uh, so that we can use it in Dreamweaver. Um, now, we're going to be using this tool over here. Uh, this is the slice tool. Uh, this one right here. And we're just going to click and drag out boxes. Uh, so we'll make one big one for the header. Uh, we'll make one for that one, one for this one, one in between, and then another one, and another one, and another one. You really want to have snap-on when you're doing this. Um, it'll make your life so much easier. All right. So we've draw, uh, drawn out some boxes for those, uh, and we'll draw out one for uh, this one. Uh, we'll have it go all the way down to there. And we'll draw out another one for this one. Uh, one thing to note, when you're using layer styles, uh, you don't want things to go outside of um, the box unless you accommodate space for that. Uh, like, if I had changed the stroke on this layer to be on the outside instead of on the inside, uh, it would have extended into... That's kind of hard to tell. Let me let me make it a little bit more prominent. Uh, it would have extended into, um, you know, these gutters uh, between the uh, the 960 grid system between the columns. So just uh, just make sure you you keep things on the inside. Uh, and one thing that you got to watch out for is if you use a drop shadow, um, those tend to like to come outside. Uh, like to come outside of uh, the image. So you just have to make sure that um, you know if you use things like a drop shadow, uh, you have it inside of the columns. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, so we, we've drawn out all of our slices. Now what we want to do is go and name them. So we'll switch to the select slice tool and just double click on each uh, slice that we made and give it a name. So like uh, header. And this is the name that it's going to uh, name each one of these as. What's going to happen is each one of these slices is going to be exported um, as a separate image. So this one will be... Uh, We'll just call it left nav. Uh, this one will be about. And this one will be space one. This one will be portfolio. I'll name this one space two. And this one is blog. And uh, I bet you can't guess what this one's going to be. Space 3. All right. And contact. And demo reel. And uh, description. Okay. Um, now, there are a couple things that we want to do uh, before we go. Actually, there's one more slice that we have to make. Switch back to the slice tool. Uh, I have a gradient going down uh, the side of this image, and we are going to uh, use that. So I don't need um, the whole thing. Like I don't need to have a slice going across the whole image like this or anything. I just need um, a piece of this. So I'll go down to. I'll just go down to there. Um, and what we're going to do with this one is it's actually going to get uh, repeated uh, horizontally. So that'll be behind everything. Um, remember how we had uh, these these things about, and it has a little bubble around it? Well, what we're going to want to do is uh, export 
one uh, image, one, we're going to export this once with all those bubbles across, we're going to export it once without them across. Uh, that way we'll, we'll get both. All right. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, this text in here, that's gone. We're not going to use that, so we need to hide that. Uh, that's just for us, for when we're working in Photoshop. Uh, and this image right here, actually, this demo reel image, that's not even going to be there. That's going to be a video. So uh, we're not going to really use that in the end, but we'll use that for now, just for the layout. Um, all right, I think that's it. Um, let me just uh, set all these to be the same. So unhide those. Like that. Okay, and the bubbles. Okay, cool. Uh, so if we, I'm gonna save this real quick. Just call it sliced. All right, and if we go to file and save for web and devices. All right, it'll open it up. And when we're in here, uh, we can select individual slices and tell Photoshop what we want uh, each one of these to be saved as. Um, for the most part, we're probably gonna be using JPEGs. Um, you can use uh, PNGs if you want transparency. Um, you can also use uh, GIFs if there aren't that many colors. Uh, but I think I'm going to use JPEGs on all of these, actually. Um, actually, no, I, I could make this one a GIF. Because there's not that many colors in this one. Uh, GIFs can only have 256 colors max. Um, so, I mean, this I think this only really has probably like four or five different colors, so that'll be good. Uh, for your JPEGs, uh, you want to set the quality to be around 70, 80. Um, it, it really doesn't um, help you any if you set the quality to 100. Uh, yes, it'll be great, but you don't visually see that much of a difference between the two. Um, and the, if you look down here, you can see the file size of each of your selected slices. So at 70, uh, this header is uh, 27 kilobytes. But if I set this to 100, it's, um, it's almost 70 kilobytes. So we can half, well, more than half the, uh, the file size by setting it down to 70. And visually, it, it really isn't any different. Um, I'm fine with having these all at 70. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, okay, I think we're good. So I'm just going to click Save. And actually, I'm going to click Cancel. This one, this gradient, this really big gradient, I'm going to set that to 100. Just because um, we might get some stair-stepping. Uh, in the gradient if it's a lower quality and it's really not that big so it'll be okay so I'm just gonna save this out and uh, website layout I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder um, I don't know buttons because this is the folder that or this is the the, the time that we're saving out all of these buttons uh, when they're pressed down or whatever. Uh, so we're going to do images only for format and we're going to do all slices and just click save. That'll take a second. All right. So if we take a look at it, uh, if we go to layout, buttons, images, it's got all of our buttons and uh, images that we that we made and they're all the right format like the description is a gif um, and these are all cropped to the right size uh, and named the right thing too because we named the slices so that's handy so um, 
what I'm going to do is actually rename a couple of these. Uh, I'm going to call it about uh, pressed. And I'm just going to name all of the buttons that um, your all the ones that are pressed to be pressed. And then when we save out the other one, uh, we don't override uh, these images. So there we go. Cool. So that's good. So now let's uh, switch these back, switch the navigation back, and we'll do this again. We'll just save out uh, for web and devices. And it should remember everything, I think. Yep, everything's all remembered. Uh, we, we just have a slightly different navigation now. So just save that out again, and click Save. And go ahead and replace, that's fine. I don't care. All right. So if we go and take a look at that um, website layout buttons images, there we go. We have about about pressed blog blog press contact contact press demo reel uh, description header, and we don't need any of this. Sculpt. Actually, we need this one. This one I think I forgot to label. Um, let me check that. Yeah. So I'm just going to label this um, gradient. Okay. And we don't need to resave this. Um, I can just rename it over here. Gradient. Okay. So I don't need that. So just delete that. And I don't. I need those. Actually, I really only need one of these, so I'll delete these two. Because we can reuse the same one, because those three images are exactly the same. Alright. Uh, I think we have everything for images. So, um, I'm going to call it good on this tutorial. And uh, I'll see you in the next one where we start uh, reassembling uh, our image back in Dreamweaver. Okay? See you next time.